Dr. D with Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear and we are continuing our what to expect when you're expecting segment and I'm talking today a little bit about pupil size in your newborn. When your baby is born and you're looking into its beautiful little face and its blue little eyes, um, if you didn't see our last video, make sure to check that out about why baby's eyes tend to be blue when they're born. But as you're looking at their eyes, you might notice that the size of their pupils. So let's talk about their pupils a little bit and what's normal and what's not. So when a baby's born, their pupils should be roughly equal in size. The literature um, does not agree 100% what size they should be, but we do know that pupil size when you're born tends to be a little bit smaller than it'll be when you're a couple years old. So children tend to have really, really, really big pupils. If you have any older children, you'll notice, um, especially if they have blue eyes, that they might have just really, really big pupils. The black takes up so much of their eye. But in a baby, that pupil is a little bit smaller. So it is normal to be to have the pupil a little bit smaller and then get bigger when you're a child. And then if you've ever noticed, your pupil size then slowly gets smaller kind of throughout your life. If you've got grandparents or parents in their you know, 80s or 90s, check out their pupil size because it tends to be almost pinpoint when you get into your 80s and 90s. That pupil size is decreasing throughout life. One thing that's not normal is when babies have pupil sizes that are very different from each other. So that's called anisocoria. It is normal to have a slight difference in pupil size between the two eyes. Of course, as human beings, our bodies are not 100% symmetric, right? Like you might have a little bit larger right hand than left. Your pupils might be, it might be a little bit bigger on the right than the left. But that difference shouldn't be more than about a millimeter between the two eyes. The other thing to watch for with pupils is that they should equally kind of go up and go down in light and in dark. So in bright light, your baby's pupils, even if they're just a touch different, should get big at the same rate and small at the same rate. If you're worried about your baby's pupil size or you feel like they're different sizes from each other, absolutely see um, your eye care provider and get that checked out. I think that's very, very important. And I hope that helped you uh, learn a little bit more about what's normal in baby's pupils. And keep gazing in those infant's eyes. It's a wonderful place to be. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have new videos coming every single Wednesday at four o'clock. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We love having you here.